Hello and welcome back to On Your Beauty. Merry Christmas! Well, it's Christmas week, so I thought I'd wear, you know, the Merry Christmas hat and I've got a nice scarf on and it's got flowers and things on it. And it's looking a bit Christmassy. Sorry for the curtain being half opened, half closed. It's just, it's an okay kind of day and I want to let some light in, even though there's scaffolding it outside, so we're just going to roll with it. BS yes, have my Christmas hat. Minion has his Christmas hat on and we have a snowman. So yay, happy Christmas. Today's video, random intro, today's video is going to be my December favourites. I am going to do a yearly roundup of some of my favourites, um, but that will be sort of maybe next week or the week after. But today is December favourites. I'm going to get stuck in. First up, I have a hand cream. This is the Body Shop Hemp Hand Protector. I'm actually going to put some on. Um, you may remember I had a wee rash on my hand, it had got really dry and I'd sort of the hand cream I was using wasn't working for me. Um, so I picked this up, it was half price in the body shop. Picked it up for a fiver and the rash on my hand has gone. So it has really helped sort out my hands. The weather has been so cold and so bitter every now and then. It is good to have a good hand cream. I tend to put it on at night because it does leave your hands slightly greasy and you can't immediately get on with doing something. But it has worked absolute wonders for my hands. Although my nails are still quite brittle and stuff at the minute, but hands are looking a lot better. I would definitely recommend checking that out. Now I have quite a few makeup bits. Oh, I'll do a skincare, the only skincare item first. It's the Visha, Visha? Vichy Normaderm, and it's the Night Detox. Now I got this because my skin has been so irritated, and it's just a wee tube, and a wee bit comes out. You don't need very much, obviously more than that. Um, but you just, I rub this in all over my face after I've cleansed. I do obviously makeup remover, then cleanse, tone with acid, tone with the other stuff, and then either a serum and then this. Um, oh, eye cream, and then this, I think. This is at the end anyway. It acts like my moisturizer. It has really helped to settle my skin down, actually. I will be doing an updated skincare routine in a few weeks once everything has really settled down. Now for the makeup. We shall start with foundation from Covergirl. I have a rather grubby looking, I apologise, Outlast Stay Fabulous foundation and I'm in the shade Ivory. I got this in the swap with Rebecca lately um, quite a while ago and this sort of stayed in my box for a while because it was quite light and at the time I was a wee bit darker because it was summer and um, during the summer this didn't last very long on my skin. Now, however, it is lasting much better. I apply it with just my sponge. I apply it with this and it goes on really nicely. It's lasting a lot better, as I said. It's still sort of, by the end of the day, it has broken down a fair amount, but I really like the coverage. It's helped hide those blemishes and stuff at the minute. And I'm generally enjoying it. I can't wear it every single day because it does break me out if I do that too often, but yeah, so far so good, would recommend it. There is obviously, the Max Factor Virgin version, which I will link down below. Now, for concealers. I have mentioned these concealers before. The NARS and the MAC Pro Longwear. I've actually started wearing these together because I'm wearing a lighter foundation. I wanted a lighter concealer and the MAC concealer is a wee touch dark for me at the minute. But this is too light to use as a blemish concealer. You know, I use it under my eyes. So I mix these two together on the back of my hand and I apply them all over my blemishes, which is what I've done today. I'm also wearing that foundation today too. But I've used these concealers to cover my blemishes around my chin and my jawline and they've done a really good job. So liking these two together, you just have to make sure you warm them up together with your finger on the back of your hand. Now we'll do lips next, I think. A combination I have been absolutely loving and only randomly discovered in the last sort of two weeks. It's the e.l.f. Matte Lip Colour in Natural. And this generally is often too pale for me. It reads my I, my lips out a bit too much because I have quite a bit of pigmentation in my lips. You know, they're, they're quite a dark colour already. I've started to wear this underneath this High Shine Lip Crayon from number seven. And it is in the shade, oh, where is it? Delicate Pink, it's on the label. And I didn't wear this because it was too light for my lips. It's quite sheer. So it does add a nice shine, you know, it's kind of that gloss feel to it. But if I put them over each other, if I do this again, I generally sort of blot in between. 
so I'm going to dab this on so you can get an idea. But I'm wearing this to get uh, today. Together, they're actually a really nice colour, and you get that nice bit of sheen, and it's quite a natural lip for me, and it lightens my lips ever so slightly, but I can still get away with it. I'm wearing it today, but I've also got a lip gloss over the top. What have I got? I've got a L'Oreal Glam Shine lip gloss over the top in magnetic nude glow just in the middle. But this is the lip colour I have on. Really been enjoying this this month. I have worn it so often. If you follow me on Instagram, I sort of didn't post every single makeup I was wearing this month because a lot of it was the same sort of things recycled. So, been wearing these. Really enjoy them. Would recommend them. And another lip I've been really enjoying is the F Balm from Urban Decay and the Bar M lip liner in three. I'm not sure if they still do this lip liner but if you get your hands on it I would recommend it. It's actually not bad and it's quite cheap. And of course look at this lipstick. It's just fabulous. I used this in a recent tutorial. I'll try and link that down below. It's just beautiful. It is a fantastic red. Perfect for Christmas parties or if you just need a bold statement lip. This is fantastic. It is a bluey toned red, so it makes your teeth look that bit whiter, which is always helpful. And this is slightly more warmer toned, but they work really, really well together. Would recommend them. Have been loving them. Check them out. Now, the final thing this month, I feel like I've kind of whizzed through this. It's actually the Tarte Amazonian Clay Be Magnificent um, palette. Again, this is something else I've had for a while. I got it in the swap with Rebecca take these bits out but recently I started a new job and I kind of wanted something that wasn't going to be too over the top quite neutral but nice and I've been using this palette so so much I've even been using this but I've been using this to line my um, top lash line that has worked really really well it's nice to have a change from either a black or a brown so it was nice to have a nice dark color and I was this purple really really nice this blush goes very very well with most looks as well. It's a nice neutral kind of peachy pinky kind of flush to your cheeks. Um, today I'm actually wearing this cream shade all over and then over the lid I have this sort of, I don't know if you can see, it, it's actually slightly purpley taupe kind of colour. In the crease I have the taupe colour and then I have a different eyeshadow which is Urban Decay's Stash. Just in the outer third of my eye and along my lash line. But yeah, been really enjoying this. Again, didn't post about it all the time on Instagram because I was wearing it a lot and it kind of gets a bit boring. But I would recommend this if you can still get it. I'm not entirely sure. It may have been limited edition. But if you see it, grab it. Like this palette so much. So the eyeshadows are so creamy, so easy to work with. They blend out really nicely. And this palette is just lovely for everyday looks that aren't too in your face. And you know, it's a very handy wee palette to have. You have everything there that you need. So winner on that front but that is it for December's favorites short and sweet I think but a lot of makeup stuff it just happens to be I liked a lot of items paired up this month quick add-on one favorite I forgot to mention I'm just going to insert this I actually finished my um, professional makeup artistry diploma I'll cover some details but yeah I did that this month I did an intensive week course and it was really good fun and I can put details of that if you've been watching over on the vlog you would have seen me go into it and that sort of stuff and she also gave me a picture of one of the looks I did it was just more of a masquerade kind of fun look and even got to stick on feathers but I had a really really good time doing that you would have seen the pictures up on Instagram not all the pictures were in the best light or at the best angle but we were trying to work with what we had and it was really really good fun that was definitely a favorite this month there has only been two videos this week i apologize i hope you've had a lovely christmas or are having a lovely christmas i'm not entirely sure which order these videos are going up so i apologize about that but i hope you are about to have or have already had a lovely christmas day and lovely holiday celebrations whatever you're celebrating and that is it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please like if you liked. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.